Juneteenth Legacy Theater is Kentucky's only professional African-American theater company. We take you behind the scenes of a rehearsal to meet some of the key people who make the theater company a success. A very good Juneteenth sauce. Legacy Theater, Kentucky's only professional African-American theater is. company, opened the ninth annual Juneteenth Jamboree of New Plays. Juneteenth is the celebration of emancipation of the slaves. So the story is told that Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves, but some slaves in uh, Texas didn't know that they were freed until June of, I believe it is the following year. You know that? That boy's gonna throw up and murder you in your sleep one night. One of the festival plays was The Heart of the Beast. Access was granted to tape one of the last rehearsals before its actor's theater debut. I remember my mama telling me she was going to slap the black off of me. When I was real little, I used to wonder if she could really do that. My daddy used to say that too, and then he tried his best to do it. Yeah, but I don't know if that was such a bad thing. It seems like kids were a lot better behaved back then. Or maybe they were, but that's like saying, that's like white people saying that blacks were better behaved decades ago when they knew their place. Mm. They were, they were scared. They were miserable and scared. Seems like to me, if, if society is going to evolve, it can't just keep certain people in line by terrorizing. Grown-ups shouldn't have to scare children into behaving right. The Heart of the Beast is about a young woman and her grandmother really coming to terms with family secrets and you know how we can keep sweeping things under rugs and think that we're hiding things and they take on a sort of different life um, and, and these characters um, it takes on the life of alcoholism and so now they have to go their court assigned to go to this counseling session and one of the characters has been coming for a long time, but because he doesn't take it seriously, it's not until a certain moment that he begins to reveal why he's really here and why, and, and come to terms with himself why he really needs it. There's so many factors and possible factors. It's hard to point to any one thing and say, that's why I drink. And for most people, what? I'm sorry, Big Mama, but I still think that for most people, it goes back to childhood. It's like, well, it's like one of the laws of physics. For every action, there's an equal and an opposite reaction. Say what? And when children get hit and slapped and yelled at, I really think for every time that happens, when he grows up, he's going to get drunk or do drugs or engage in some other kind of self-destructive or violent behavior. Louisville playwright Carol Ann Connerly Griffin had a first-time public performance in her own play, Heart of the Beast, which deals with a support group coming to terms with alcoholism. A lot of it was fiction, a lot of it was made up, but some of it was based on things that I uh, uh, witnessed in therapy. Uh, a lot of uh, you know, pointing fingers and you know and a lot of uh, worry about how, how much uh, personal responsibility people need to take. You were right. I was mad at the world. I really was. I was only 38 when you and Sarah came to stay with me. Finally ready to start my own life. I've been taking care of babies since I was seven years old. My mama and nine kids and I were the oldest and had to look after all of them. Plus help her and daddy out in the fields. They took me out of school when I was 14 and I was determined to go back to school. Your mama was all set to graduate and I figured it was my turn now. I could go back, finish my education. But then she up and ran off with that boy and she got pregnant. It can get very emotional in, in a therapy sex session. Uh, there's a lot of yelling and screaming and um, I tried to inject some humor into it, but uh, it can get pretty raw. I was gonna go back to school, get me a decent job, even find me a boyfriend. 
But with two little babies in the house, he didn't stick around much longer. Why don't you just put us in foster care? Foster care? Give you to strangers to raise? Girl, we didn't do that in my generation. The most exciting thing about Juneteenth for me is the process. It's a different type of process. It's a, in my opinion, it's a playwright's venue, but at the same time, it can be very, very uh, uh, enriching for the actor because it allows the actor to, they have to uh, look at the script and they have to familiarize themselves in a very short period and um, actually get to the point really quickly. Emotion, all of that, very, very quickly. You know, I was wondering if you would have done it for real, if she hadn't caught you. Because I don't think you would have. I don't know, man. I really just don't know. I mean, I think about it every day. Hell, I was mad enough to do it. Why? What happened that day that was any different from the day before? What made you snap? You know, she ain't do anything different. Same as every other day. Tell me I was going straight to hell every time I did something she didn't like. Just you going to ride in hell, boy. You going to ride in hell. God is my witness you going to ride in hell. Thing is, I remember that day. That day for the first time, I believed her. I believed her. So what are some of the main points that the Heart of the Beast is trying to convey? That you should uh, pay attention to what you're doing with, with, with children. Um, a lot of uh, people think that uh, if they just raise their children the way they were raised, that, you know, everything will work out. And sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Um, children are all different, and there's no one right way to raise a child. So I think that a lot of people will understand, you know, not just alcoholism or drug abuse, but, you know, we sweep other illnesses and, and other family secrets under the rug. I don't think they'll mind if we don't stay a whole hour today. It's been pretty draining emotionally. Yes, it has. <laughs> Ooh, I think we, maybe we've all found the hearts of our beast today. It takes a lot of work to uh, recover from something like an addiction, and all therapy can really do is get you started. You have to do most of the hard work yourself. For more information, check the company out online at JuneteenthLegacyTheater.com. That's all for this Metro Edition. Thanks so much for joining us. Stay connected to your city, your life, and your Louisville right here on Metro TV. I'm Matt Schuster, and until next time, make it a great day. Metro TV, a public service of Louisville Metro Government. <laughs>